Hey guys, how are you doing? Gavin here from uh, Starfresh Personal Training. I'm on a bit of a different angle today. The uh, light isn't too great, but hopefully you uh, you get it. Anyway, first of all, uh, this is for uh, some shift workouts, okay? And it's how, how to basically plan your um, your workouts and your nutrition around shift work. Um, and so before you do anything, I want you to go down below into the uh, description. I want you to number one, tell me what shift you worked um, yesterday or what shift you're on tomorrow. Um, and tell me uh, what it is you struggle with in regards to that shift. And secondly, I want you to download my seven step cheat sheet um, for losing weight, basically. And you can find all that stuff down below. And it's a little bit more in depth than losing weight, it's a bit more of a how to, how to plan your whole kind of life around shift work and still absolutely thrive. So that's a free download you can get down below, which is awesome. Anyway, back to, uh, back to the topic. So, first of all, when you, um, when you come to, plan your uh, schedule, uh, workout schedule and meal spe- schedule around shift work, you gotta kind of be a little bit smarter about it. Generally, you're a little bit more tired, you're a little bit um, kind of busier, but what I've also found as well, it's actually easier as a shift worker to plan this stuff and get this stuff done. So, um, I don't know what shift you work, but for me, I work at 222 Rosso, which is two early, two late, two nights. And what I kind of do, you need to kind of come up with um, mini routines within the shift. And what I mean by that is that, you know, if you work a general nine to five job, um, it's probably really easy, you know, you either work out in the morning, work out in the evening, or if you've got time, lunch time, you work out lunch time, simple as that, you've only got three options. And when a shift worker, you know, if you work early, late to nights, you kind of got to have a routine for each single shift. So, and what I mean by that is if you work an early shift, let's say, then you pretty much got maybe Probably two to three options. You, you kind of like uh, a, a, a normal sh- a day shift workout. So you either can work out before, during, or after. Okay, so bef- for me, I always work out before work, okay? And this, this comes into play a little bit on. I always work out before work because it, be, it becomes my mini routine. And that mini routine then fits into a big routine. So I, I get up usually at um, 4.20. I'll have 20 to 30 minutes chilling out of a coffee because it's tiring. And then I'll go to the gym at about 5 a.m. Then I'll train till about 6. Um, and then I, I'm in work ready to go by 7. If, let's say, you're a, um, you're a late shift, then you've pretty much got two options. Okay, You've either got before or during. Because at the end of the day, you're not really going to train at 10, 11 o'clock at night. Some people do. Um, but for me, you know, I, I don't do that. And some of my late shift finish at two or three o'clock in the morning as well, which means I'm certainly not going to train. So I always train before. So what I'll do then, I'll, if I start work at maybe 2.30, I'll be in the gym for um, about 12.45, and I'll train till 1.45, and I'm back in work ready to go by 2.30. That works really, really well. That's another a mini routine within routine. Last one for night shift. Okay, same deal. You either go before... You can go during sometimes or after, okay? So for me, it's always before. So if I start work at um, 2200, I will go to the gym at 8, 8 p.m. Because regardless of what I've done that day, I've usually had a, an afternoon sleep. So the day I work a night shift, um, let's say the first night shift, I get up nice and early, I'll do some things, whatever I need to do. Then I go back to bed in the afternoon and then I go to the gym before work again. So I then I finish eight to nine. Um, I'm in work, ready to go by 10 o'clock. Works really, really well. I've also trained after night shift. Really, really difficult. I, I just couldn't get on with it, really struggled to do it. Um, you could also, when I, when I used to work um, in London, we used to work 12 hour night shifts and 12 hour days. And we could actually work out in work because uh, they, they used to like us to, have, to do exercise. So we used to get two 45 minute breaks and you could train at work. So during work could be an option. But for me, when I talk about routine, you've got to try and make things as consistent as possible. Certainly when it comes to um, you know, your circadian rhythms and your planning and everything else, I always train before work, okay? So this is my routine. And it'll work really well for you if you do the same thing. Because I work out before I go to early shift, I work out before I go to night shift, and I work out before I go to night shift. Um, and when I do it that way, the working day becomes similar because in the, the day I want to try and keep things as familiar as possible uh, because the more familiar it is for me, the easier it is for you to do. So I always train before work. So that's how I kind of work out my uh, my workout schedule. So with regards to days off, I mean, in the, the day I, I, I'm doing six on, four off. 
six on, four off. That's over a ten day period. I don't need to work out every single day I'm at work. I can work out on my rest days. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is that on their rest days, people go, you know, I just need to recover and relax and rest. But we've got to understand that actually exercising is resting. You're you're causing your body, you know, to do a little bit of exercise, what the body craves to do. And then, you know, it helps you sleep, it helps you relax, and, you know, it's really, really good for you. So tr- don't don't just think you have to do all your exercise on your on your six working days. Absolutely um, do on your days off. So for me, um, I always train Monday to Friday. Very, and rarely do I work out on a weekend. Um, simply because like the weekend, you know, if I, I don't want to be sleeping and working out and taking time away from my family. Monday to Friday seems to work. But in saying that, I was night shift last night. I, I it was a Sunday night last night. I was night shift and I trained before work because my little boy's in bed. Um, and you know, it just made sense knowing that today was uh, it was my last night shift yesterday. Uh, today's a day off, and you know, I've woken up an hour or two ago, and I need to get my little boy from school. And I'm not going to work out today. So, you know, it makes sense to do work out on the Sunday, then I got a Monday off, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday would be my workout days as normal. When it comes to nutrition, though, very, very similar deal, right? So, what I tend to do is the day before my early shift, I do a bit of meal prepping, okay? So, on my so early shift there, okay, I know my early shift is between 7 and 5 p.m. Which means that by the time I get home at night, if I haven't any overtime, it could be six to seven. And the last thing I want to be doing at that time of night is making my meals for the next day. So the day before my early shift, what I do is I create or, or cook up a couple of meals. In the day, the cooking time is exactly the same whether I make one meal or ten meals, it doesn't really matter. I will make my meals on the day before for two days worth. And all I do is I take four meals to work a day. I remember for ten hours and I usually eat three to four, maybe four times in that day, right? So all I'll do is I'll prepare my breakfast, so this is for two days, my mid-morning snack for two days, my lunch for two days, afternoon snack for two days, and then usually my wife has cooked dinner when I get home. So I don't have to worry about these two meals at the bottom, but I do need to worry about these ones, okay? So these, the, so these are the two sort of main meals I have, they're the cooked meals, and they'll be something, they'll have a protein, a carb, and a fat, um, it could be just, um, you know, pretty basic. It could, could simply be chicken, um, grilled potatoes, and some and some vegetables. Nothing crazy. I can warm up in the microwave. Really, really nice um, job done. So then you got my mid morning snack. Um, this is usually a protein shake um, and, and and a piece of fruit. And then my mornings are very similar. So it's just um, usually a high fiber cereal, all bran, um, milk. Uh, banana, a piece of fruit, um, egg whites. Really, really easy to do for me. Um, it, you know, it, it, it's perfect to put together. Easy to prepare. Everything I need, and it's job done. My afternoon snack is usually then um, a protein and a carb. So it's usually um, poached eggs on toast. I take a couple of, I take three eggs to work, and um, and job done that way. But whatever it is, it's really, really easy for me. Okay, and and, and it needs to be easy for you as well. On my late shift though, what I tend to do is I like my meals fresh, so I won't bulk cook for my early for my late shift. I usually cook them before I come to work. It only takes 10 minutes to do it. Chuck some chicken on the grill, chuck some potatoes or some rice on, job done, doesn't take you long. And that's how I do my late shift. Night shift's exactly the same. I don't really stress about anything, cook seven days worth of meals. But these two days, the two early shifts are the most important. Um, and you, know, you can do the same thing. But what you can also do as well is that this, you can turn these meals into four or five. And all you do then is just freeze them, put them into plastic containers and you freeze them and you put them together. And the rest of the stuff is really, really easy. It's literally going into a fridge, you know, pulling out your, uh, your cereal, pulling out your fruit, putting it all together and taking it to work. It doesn't take long, it takes five minutes if, if that. So that's how I do my, uh, my nutrition schedule. And then with my uh, nutrition side, all I do then, I tap everything into my fitness pal. Okay, online tracker, link down below and I track all my meals because then it doesn't really matter. As long as I'm eating over a 24 hour period, so zero one to zero 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 one, uh, my calories are about two to two per day, okay? So it doesn't really matter. I track between midnight and midnight. So as long as my calories are right, it doesn't really matter, okay? Uh, I can have that little bit of a sweet craving at two in the morning if I need to, a bit of cake, bit of donut, whatever, because I track it in my fitness pal. And ultimately, it's calories are the most important thing. Um, and once you get that into your mind, you're actually going to be really successful, okay? So, um, end of the day, 
track, uh, you know, you be, you manage your time right, uh, prepare your meals properly, and, and make a little routine for you around your shifts. Okay, so it's different for everybody, different for shifts. But if you take kind of this principle and keep try and keep everything continuous and everything else, you're gonna be absolutely fine. Um, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, subscribe below, leave a comment. Um, if anything you need clarifying, let me know, and I'll certainly do that for you. Um, and don't forget to grab that free uh, seven-step cheat sheet. Basically, you know, I've been a shift worker for 17 years now. Um, I've lost uh, 20 kilos, kept it off for seven years, still working shifts, um, and I absolutely thrive on it. Um, and you can do the same thing. So uh, check your details in the box below. You get, get, your, get your download. I'll boil everything down for you nice and easy, and you can apply this to, um, to your shift pattern. Anyway, as always, guys, start afresh. Because if you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers.